Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> you're watching the Buzz Update. Hi, I'm Joffrey Jaramillo. And I'm Kayla Mornock. And welcome to this edition of the Buzz Update. Montgomery County Community College Rotaract Club needs your help. Students participating in new chapters of the club, just chartered last week, will be serving breakfast for families at the Ronald McDonald House in Philadelphia on February 1st. Now this is where you come in, and the club is accepting donations toward the cost of food that must feed the mouths of about 40 people. Donations are now being accepted in the Students' Leadership and Involvement Office on both the Maine and Pottstown campuses. For more information, contact Jenna Claus at jclaws at mc3.edu or call 610-718-1973. Finishing up all your classes this semester and ready to graduate? If so, make sure you turn in a graduation application. To do this, go to WebAdvisor from your student account, then click the Academic Planning tab. From there, select Application for Graduation and complete the forms. Once you've submitted the online application, the school will mail you further information. Applications to graduate this semester are due November 30th. For more information, please visit Student Services in College Hall. If you saw the rainbow tables set up in Park House Hall last week, you might have been wondering what they're all about. Not to worry if you didn't find out, though. The Buzz Update's Danny Moulton went to the scene to get the scoop. Last week was National Transvisibility Awareness Week, and there were booths set up in Park House Hall to spread the word. But what is Transvisibility Awareness Week? We talked to Gender Sexuality Alliance President Ng Zhang for more information. Uh, National Transvisibility Awareness Week is basically a week dedicated to spread the awareness of tra uh, trans transgender, transsexual, and basically trans. Um, because sadly, in the LGBT community, the, the T in trans so sadly sometimes does get overlooked and isn't brought up to the light and awareness as, as the rest of the L, G, or B. But the GSA isn't only for students who fall under the trans umbrella. Students who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, and even straight are welcome here as well. It's given me a place to go to when I need to talk about something that happened maybe I'll keep throughout the day that like maybe somebody said something to me or anything like that and I can go there and it makes me feel safe. For more information on trans visibility and transgender issues, you can go to WPATH.org or visit the Gender Sexuality Alliance in Park House 120 on Wednesdays from 12.20 p.m. to 1.20 p.m. I'm Danny Moulton reporting for The Buzz. Students enrolled in the college's nursing program address the pros and cons of ethical issues faced by the nursing community. That public discussion was held in the Park House Atrium last Monday where topics surrounding vac vaccinations, organ transplants, and a nurse's oath to care for patients, no matter what, were spelled out on poster displays and multimedia presentations. Nursing students in attendance hope that by raising awareness of these issues, the public will become better educated on the choices facing those in the nursing every day. That of personal choices and freedoms versus the need to save lives. Montgomery County Community College will host an artist entrepreneur exhibition to recognize those who worked to help them become successful and self-employed in the art world. The exhibition will be held in the Fine Arts Gallery on the main campus beginning this week and will run through December 13th. While there, meet the many entrepreneur artists from all over the area and get a look at the various creative works that made them successful. For more information on the exhibition, contact Holly Carnes at 215-619-7349 or email hcarnes at mc3.edu. The college's music and dance departments present America's Music, Music and Dance. Join them in the Science Center Theater for three unique events featuring modern dance, jazz, choir, and more. On Monday, December 2nd, there will be a preview event at 12.30 p.m. showcasing samples of the amazing music you'll hear at these events. Then, on that Wednesday and Thursday, full-length evenings of music and dance will begin at 7 p.m. To attend these thrilling events, you can order your free tickets from mc3.edu slash livelyarts 
or by calling either 215-641-6518 or 215-619-7309. For more information, visit the Lively Arts section of the college website. A reminder that next week is Thanksgiving. In recognition of the holiday, Montgomery County Community College will be giving students some well-deserved time off. Be sure to mark in your calendars between Wednesday, November 27th and Friday, November 29th, as there will be no classes on those days. We'll see you after the break, and we here at the Buzz Update hope you enjoy your holiday. I'm Joffrey Jaramillo. And I'm Kayla Warnock. Thanks for watching.